Excited? Is that your cheer? Is that it? Okay. So, <laughs> sorry guys. See. So, before I get to her setting entrance, I would like, of course, to welcome all of you. Thank you so much, our friends from the media, everyone watching online. Uh, for those of you at home, please also give yourselves a round of applause. We are the one. Thank you for supporting our girl. So again, and all of those, especially from her hometown of Gaeta. A pageant fan. I am also our Miss Gaeta's Q and A mentor. So when she answers your questions, Maya, I'm also going to be taking notes, seeing how she did in the Q and A. So this is also her training. So please don't take it easy on her. Maybe we can turn that one off for a while. Yes. Okay, we're good. Um, so of course we all know who we are. Here for it is no secret who is representing the the municipality of Gaenta. It is our dear Stacy Gabrielle. She is not just known and loved in the pageant world. She is also an actress, a host, an advocate for mental health, and now is a businesswoman with her own sustainable fashion swimwear line. A woman with many hats. It is now time for her to claim her crown. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for joining us. It is my pleasure to introduce all of you to our new Miss Universe Philippines 2024 Gaetan. Miss Lacey. 
Of course, Mr. Luis Portelia, for those of you who don't know, is also here. Oh, Grazie. <laughs> Hola Stacy, ¿cómo estás? Hola Luis, ¿qué tal? Ay, muy bien. ¿Cómo te sientes? Estoy muy feliz Ajá. de verte. I always know that you're one step ahead. So in your preparation, I know that you're always one step ahead. So let me know how are you preparing for to be able to conquer the crown of the Philippines, to go to Miss Universe and represent us in Mexico. Wow. Well, of course, we're training holistically. So. We've got Q&A training, we've got pasarela training, hair and makeup training, my styling. We want to get everything on point because that's what the fans deserve, and that's what they want, and that's what they're going to get. And on, on a more spiritual level, on an on a emotional level, I'm still going to therapy, I'm still meditating, and making sure I hold my thoughts captive. I have been very open with my journey with anxiety, and I very much want to use my sensitivity as a superpower on this journey and not as a crutch. So you will see a stronger Stacy, a more prepared Stacy, and a Stacy that wants to shine for all the universe to see. Woo! 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 So, um, are you mentally prepared with the battle ahead? And um, how are you going to show a different Stacy than the one that we've known before to show you the growth that you have over the past uh, couple of years as you now take on probably one of the most toughest batch of Miss Universe Philippines um, in the past five years? Oh. Yeah. That's what I've noticed, because my year in BDB was so cutthroat. There were, every girl was deserving, and now I see the girls that are coming up. Oh goodness, everyone can be sent to Mexico. I am so inspired to be amongst such accomplished women. If anything, I just love to be challenged. And I, I love to be challenged, and I love to draw strength from the women around me, because it is a sisterhood. Let me tell you, the, the, the night that I was crowned second runner up at BDB, I knew, I decided in my heart that I would be joining this universe of the Kings. So I had two good years of preparation, and you will not be holding back. I have been silently and subtly working on myself behind the scenes. As I mentioned earlier, I will be more intentional about mastering my mind and controlling that which I can control and letting go of the things that I cannot. That was something that I struggled with during PDD and that's okay. It was my first go at it, but this time I'm gonna do it once and I'm gonna do it well. And I hope to make all of you proud. And what was the other question? Mentally and... Um, um, I, we, we just oh, wanted to know your growth. How will I conquer the universe? Yeah. Okay, well, I've got amazing people around me. It takes a village to raise a beauty queen, and I would not be standing here if it weren't for Dave, for Nelly, for Gino, for Dennis, for Isaac, everyone who has put their faith in me. And so we will hold each other's hands all the way to the universe stage, and we are so mighty excited to show you what we've been working on behind the scenes. Just, just an additional... There's an additional thing, um, Stacy. The moment that you made the decision to join, you're already a winner for us. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. You're absolutely correct because only one woman will take home the crown. But if you're in the competition for much more than the crown, there's so much that you can take from this journey. That's exactly the mindset that I'm bringing. Although, of course, we want to bring home the crown. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Stacy. Thank you, thank you, Justin. Um, let's have Ms. Diane Casillejo for the next question. Thank you. So Stacey, you mentioned you've been preparing for two years already, right? So uh, now it's February. How are you preparing, first of all, for the much anticipated press presentation where you're going to have 64 there? That's going to be like 
definitely want to get stronger and fitter. We want to strong, strengthen my calves because pasarela is, ooh, it's a, it's a full body workout. So we're, we're cooking that, and you'll see my pasarela soon enough, and it'll all come hand in hand. Thank you so much, Ms. Diana. And let's have Christian from the ground. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. Uh, so, uh, Stacey, so how many things are you reaching out? Or yeah, how many chat with other, the Cedar Risk of the Kings candidates, or other than Sash or Crown, or any Christian other name that you're helping us on each other? How has it been? Uh, because the fans are already competing the competition um, this year. So, we just want to know how is it? I mean, have a meeting up for the first time. Yes. So, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Let's try this one again. Okay. Hello. She'll be a, a good sister to have on this journey with me. Uh, Victoria Velasquez, Vincent, I've spoken to as well. Of course, my sister Cyril, uh, Natasha, my Beanie Beanie Bash sisters are are um, are, are going to be there with me as well, and I cannot wait for that reunion. But I'm excited to meet everybody else, uh, Tisa and Alexi. And I am a pageant fan myself, so to see all of these awe inspiring women you know take life by the horns and pursue their dreams is absolutely inspiring i am extremely inspired by them and i can't wait to meet them all on the 18th it can't come soon enough we're all excited to see more thank you my other question what is it uh, about the pageant that has you Well, it was very important to me during Beanie Beanie just to stay true to myself. I, I didn't try to pretend to be anyone else. And that same genuine spirit is something that I will take care of because I am the only me there is, and that is my superpower. So I have to stay true to my heart. Did you also ask about what I plan to perhaps tweak? Well, that was my first ever pageant, ever, ever. and. I want to preface by saying I'm so grateful to my Bini Bini Filipinas family for allowing me to be a part of the legacy. And I have learned so much. They took such great care of us. They took me under their wing, and they truly made me feel like a queen. However, it, two years is a long time if you are intentional about your self-development. So now I'm more unwavering in my vision. I have people around me who are of one mind. We are all on the same page. So we will definitely be executing the vision more um, with more ease because we all understand where we want to go. So in terms of styling as well, I know myself better. I know what I like. I know what colors suit me. I know what silhouettes suit me. And I think that will be an asset as well because Miss Universe Philippines, you know, we've got so many eyes on us. And we do want to dazzle, you know, and we do want to dazzle as ourselves. We want to feel the best versions of ourselves. So that is what I will be showing you. Thank you so much, Christian. Um, let's have from first TikTok, Pao Hi, Pao. 
my sustainable swimwear line that Kelly mentioned that aims to give back to the community and aims to preserve the healthful balance of nature, whether it be through the prison ministry that my family started in 2011, I am constantly inspired by how I can improve people's lives. And that is what the Miss Universe platform is all about. It's all about forging a path forward and taking people with you. This is not a journey for one, but a journey for all. And when people remember me, and when people remember my legacy, I know they will not remember my height. They will remember my heart. And they will remember how I made them feel. And I know that no matter what happens, some women may tower over me, but I will stand tall, knowing that the universe will always have my back.
strengthening me. You have been the wind in my sails for the last two years. You as well, Adam. You've been such a staunch supporter of mine. And I just want to make you proud. I really do. I really, really do. And of course, I want to make my team proud. And like I said, we are cooking a lot of exciting things for you. We're just having fun. This is, pageantry can be a place of pure joy if you make it that way. So my team and I are just excited to finally ilabas na ang mga pasabog. No more gatekeeping of the pasabog. That's all coming up in the next few months. And I can't wait for you. One more question. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ask, you know, thank you for your support. 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 How did you know that this was the year? This was the perfect time for you to join. You could have probably joined a year from now, a year right. or two. But why this? That is absolutely right, yes. You know, I, I, I just, I always listen to my gut. And my gut tells me that the time is right, that the time is now. Like I said, this is a two year decision. Yes, I could have waited another year. Yes, I could have prolonged it. But everything in my soul, every ounce of me knows that this is my year to shine bright for all the universe to see. So we are not, wala nang atrasan. Sinabi ko na sa inyo noon, binibini pa lang na lalaban ako, makikipagdigmaan at makikipagbardagulan ako. At hindi po tayo aatrasan pa sa laban. I am Miss Universe Philippines! And my last question. Ang galing mo doon, girl, ha? Yeah, please. So, of course, you will win. Manifest, manifest, you will win. Aside, of course, aside from not winning the crown, matapilok, what is your biggest fear on your Miss Universe Philippines journey? My biggest fear on my Miss Universe journey and in my life is not to unleash my fullest potential. I know that God has made me in His image. I know that He has filled me with His gifts, filled me with His talents. And my one fear is not being able to use that for His glory. That is the honest to God answer is I'm afraid that I will get in my own way. I'm afraid that my inner saboteur will get in my way, which is why I am doing the work to hold my thoughts captive. I'm doing the work to only speak life over myself. And hopefully by being that example, people can see that it does pay off to be gentle with you and to be gracious with you. Because you are not simply a spectacle or a mannequin, you are home to a life, you are home to a soul. And you must strengthen your inner kingdom. And that is what I will be doing on that stage. Seven four. And we have another question as well. Two, just two more. Uh, first from um, Sherman Gamboa. Hello. Hi. How are you? I want to ask you a question. Oh, 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 oh,
through this journey, <laughs> you know, through this journey, I, I truly want to rally behind not only my Carinteños, not only my Rizaleños, but everyone who has put their faith in me, and I want to carry them in my heart. During my first pageant, I was a ball of nerves. I was a complete wreck. And I failed to live in the moment. I failed to live in the present time. I blacked out when I answered my question. <laughs> so one thing that I have not done that I will hope to do and that I will do is take everyone who has ever put their faith in me, carry them in my heart, and show the universe the heart of a Filipina. Come on. Come on. Ah. Last, last question for now. Uh, ben from Sash Factor. Hi, Hi Ben. Stacey. I remember the last time we met in Faith Academy. Yes. I was playing volleyball. Yes. <laughs> How many questions for so you? Pleasure to run into you. This is a pageant question that I wanted to ask you. Yes. Uh, my question for you is if you're going to write a book about your pageant journey, what would be its title? <laughs> My whole life is a story of intergenerational responsibility. It started with my great-grandmother, who had a heart for people, who considered people, and then my grandmother, who started a prison ministry, and, and my mother, who is the reason I am who I am. So the title of my book would be My Mother's Daughter, because everything I am, I owe to her. Everything I am, I owe to my mother. And everything that I do, I do for the women of tomorrow. The women who will come after me. So... I feel this in my heart. I feel this legacy in my heart, and I want to pursue it. I want to continue this legacy. I want to make sure it doesn't die, because it is a legacy of love, and it is one that deserves to outlive me. Wow. Yes. For my last question, this is sorry, Patty. For my last question, how are you going to introduce Miss Universe? I mean, how are you going to tell a child about Miss Universe? Well, I would tell that child, Miss Universe is a woman who wears a crown, but it is not simply a shiny, sparkly thing. Her job is during her reign to add more jewels to that crown, to add jewels of love, to add jewels of compassion, add jewels of mindfulness, add jewels of community, and to make that crown sparkle so bright that when she passes it on to her successor, that woman can take the crown even further. That is a Miss Universe. Not be in the hot seat for a second. 
Well, it's second second second. Second. Just get back to her. <laughs> My question now for you, Stacy. Hi, Mars. Um, Hi, Mars. Hi, Mars. Hi, Mars. You posted sa Instagram mo, and then nag-scroll ako doon, and then in behalf of your follower, I will ask one question from your follower. Yes, please. The question is from Celine Florendo. Would you describe yourself as a transformational leader? If so, how would you demonstrate this? Mm. This ties into what we've been talking about in the last half hour. You know, I mentioned my grandmother who founded a prison ministry in 2011. I've been coming there since I was 14 years old and I have seen right before my very eyes the transformational power of love and radical acceptance. I have seen the lives of the prisoners completely make a 180 because we have, shown, we have embraced them. We have shown them that they, that they do matter and that they are a part of our community. My grandmother taught me growing up, kung sino yung, kung sino yung outcast sa lipunan, siya yung mahalin mo. Reach out to that person, because they are the ones who need love the most. And I will demonstrate that I am a transformational leader just by walking the talk. I will continue to let my actions speak louder than my words, you will see that hopefully. Hopefully more hearts will be drawn to this ministry because if there's a transformational leader, it is the women who I have met while doing this ministry. In fact, you'll hear from one of them today. Is she here? You'll hear from one of them today. And everything I know about transformation, everything I know about being constantly evolving, I learned from my grandmother and I learned from the people in that ministry. And I can't wait to show you. Last question. Since you said you're transparent in this journey of yours, would it be okay if you could give us a little designers that you are working with regarding with your national costume, evening gown, something like that? Wow, do you reckon it's safe? I'm sorry, as her coach, I'm not <laughs> saying no. Okay. She's too nice to do it, but I'm not running anymore, so I can be me. So, no. <laughs> I can give you clues, however. <laughs> So, my national costume designer, think avant-garde. Mm. Think couture. Okay. And then for my evening gown designer, he has sent a couple Miss Universe Philippines off to Miss Universe. That's a big clue. So, oh, I am extremely stoked to be working with him. He has taken me under his wing and he has made me feel every inch the queen that I aspire to be. And it's gonna be good. I promise you, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Good job. Thank you. I'm from Eventology. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. What was your last post on If it's not good, God's not done. So I know that I am a story that is still being written, and I know that I should be gentle with myself, but I also know that I have greater heights still to reach. So my prayer is always to be the vessel through which God can show his love to his people, to his children. Sorry, Amy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep doing that. And my next prayer will be just that. It will be just that. It's to continue to make the people who have put their faith in me, to make them proud, and to walk in my calling, and not to squander this opportunity, but to completely unleash everything that I already have within me.
in light of everything that's happening, how can you convince the fans about the changes that Miss Universe organization is implementing oh. right now? Because they feel like, you know, it's shock and awe with everything that's, with all the recent developments happening. Yes. You know, in any transitional period, in any moment of change, we will face some growing pains. That is absolutely normal. And I think right now as fans, as a pageant fan myself, we should just offer grace. I know we are extremely protective of this brand, extremely protective of its legacy, but also know that the people who have stepped down know that they are leaving it in able hands. And we must take a step back and trust, be patient, continue to offer the women who are the lifeblood, the beating heart of the organization, continue to offer them our support because they need it now more than ever in this transitional period. So I urge the fans to, you know, we love this brand, we want to protect this brand, and we want it to outlive us. And in order to do that, we should practice gentleness through and through because making hate a hobby will not get us anywhere. Only love can do that. largely informed by my own experience with anxiety and OCD. However, when I was, I would say, eight or nine years old, my family lost my uncle. It was very sudden, he was only 35. And my mother, who was my pillar of strength, who was the backbone of our family, I just saw her completely broken. And that is not something that a child often sees in their parent. But it taught me that grown-ups can be broken too, and grown-ups can cry too, and sometimes I should be my mother's pillar of strength. Sometimes I should be the one to hold her hand and tell her that everything is going to be okay. So that experience growing up taught me the importance of a healthy mind and a healthy heart. So aside from my own anxiety, I would bring it back to my mother who taught me that you don't always have to be resilient because other people can be resilient for you, and that is the beauty of community. Beautiful answer, of course. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, okay, it's so a love fest. Um, your next question from one of your followers is from at Bernice.Ellen. Hi, my athlete, at Stacy Gabrielle. What is your message to young dreamers like me out there? And she added, I miss you and love you, my That is so sweet. We met during the evening, and now she's like my little sister. Well, to the young dreamers, my goodness, in life, you will get knocked down, you will get hurt, you will fail, but that's okay. It's all a part of making you the strong, able, empowered person that you were always meant to become. So embrace those moments. And when hard times come, just know that even one step, even just one step in the right direction is a new horizon. When I was in the depths of depression, I told myself, I'm just gonna brush my teeth today. And I brushed my teeth and guess what? That was the step in the right direction. That was for my health. I felt fresher, I felt cleaner. So whether it be big or small things, just know one step 
Don't look at the bird's eye view. Look at what's directly in front of you and ask yourself, what is the next right thing? And then do just that. media. You guys can also go to her Instagram and ask your questions because I'm going to do a few more. Why are they my life coach? So this is from at Stacey Gabrielle, MUPH 2024. But not you, right? No, no. Okay, okay, okay. So unofficial page. Um, what is the lesson that took you the longest to learn? Oh, are you kidding me? It is a lifelong lesson. And that is one of being gentle with yourself. I often, Nicole and I have this conversation all the time, is, you know, now I am more intentional about talking to myself the way I would talk to a friend. Because think about it, you wouldn't tell a friend half of the derogatory, devastating things that you say to yourself. You speak to a friend with kindness, you speak life over a friend, and that is the lesson that I still very much have to learn every day is to be gentle with me, to be gracious with me, because I cannot give what I don't have, and I can only give from the overflow of my heart. So if I give myself compassion, that will put me in the right position to give compassion back to those around me. Thank you. This one is from at Christian J. Luxon. Hi, at the Stacy. I'm so happy you are our representative. I've been following you since your baby. What is something in your core, whether that be mental health or your strength of communication, that you will use to your advantage in this year's competition? Well, I, I love what he mentioned, mental health. Um, but really, I think the one thing in my core that I will bring is the strength of community. No man is an island. We all need people. And I am very grateful to have incredible people in my corner. And that is the one pillar of my core that I do not take for granted and that I will carry with me onto that stage. I will not be one person. I will be carrying 107 million <laughs> Not quite yet, but she is my queen. And, and, and obviously, that is the goal, is to carry the people who have faith in me, to carry them in my heart, and to make them proud. And last question from your followers, uh, from at Angelica Diane, what and who are your biggest inspirations for joining this University of the Philippines 2024? Always my grandmother, always my mother. But if we're talking Miss Universes, of course, Pia has been an incredible inspiration of grit, of determination, of resiliency. Catriona has been an incredible, incredible example of giving back to the community and shining a light on our creatives and bringing them with you and, and wearing them proudly. But I am also reminded of Demi Tebow. We were asked about height earlier and she is one who has just constantly inspired me. She is so incredible. And even today, I see how active she is in giving back to her community. And that is the essence of a Miss Universe, is yes, to use the crown, yes, as your stepping stone so that, that, so that the world sees you and sees you shine, but also once you pass on that crown, to further your legacy and not to waver in your mission to be a beacon of love and be a beacon of hope. So I have incredible women to look up to. I'm very lucky. Well, of course, we're going to continue with the questions and everything. But before we do, I believe we're going to officially welcome the members of the um, Culture and Arts Office of the Tourism Division of Baeza for a photo. And 